This watering can is without a doubt the biggest item that I've ever tried to dip in my glaze bucket. But because the watering can is such an awkward shape inside and it has that top piece that comes over it too that needs to be fully glazed, I didn't think there was another method that was gonna work and so I decided to go for it. Did this go well? Um, yeah. I kind of think so. It might not look like it went very well, but the piece was fully glazed when I was done, so that was really the only goal. What I did not think about when I chose my method for dip glazing was how heavy this thing was gonna be once it was filled with glaze. And we're not talking like outrageously heavy. This thing is a watering can. It's meant to be filled with water, but the thing is I wasn't holding it with my hand. I was holding it with these tongs and they are not super grippy, but it definitely worked. I didn't lose my grip or drop it in the bucket, which I was afraid of. The only portion that didn't get fully glazed was the end of the spout and I just dipped that separately at the end. The only thing that I had left to do was double check that the glaze didn't fill in the spout and so I gave it a little blow test and it was all good.